Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's movie blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope we're doing well and today I am currently on the Causeway Bridge here in New Orleans heading over to the North Shore of uh, uh, Mandeville, Covington area to pick up a couple of steelbooks because today is indeed Alita Battle Angel Day. <laughs> yes indeed! I am very, very pumped. This film has been fantastic. I've been so happy to be able to support the movie and have had such a great community to help support the movie too. And if you're just watching this video as this goes live later today, make sure you go out and buy the Blu-ray. Uh, if you were listening at all to San Diego Comic-Con's coverage, they interviewed Rosa Salazar, who plays Alita in the film, several times, and several times she says, go buy that Blu-ray, go buy that Blu-ray, because she knows, just like all of us, that the movie can only get a sequel movie can only be really eligible for a sequel and justified to have a sequel if it breaks even and makes a little bit of profit as well. We all know that it made around $400 million at the box office and it needs to make another $30 million to get to that break even point. I think the Blu-ray sales are going to be much more than the $30 million that it needs and I think it's going to be astounding how much money this makes seeing that Best Buy already has so many stores where their steelbook has been sold out. That's why I'm literally having to travel an hour outside of my home to go pick up two steelbooks for two people that won on the channel because they really wanted them, but they weren't available in their hometown and it wasn't even available in my hometown either. So I'm going to have to go an hour drive outside, gotta be on this bridge for a little bit, and uh, <laughs> and go pick up these steel books, but you know what? I'm passionate. I love my fan. Like I love I love my subscriber base. I love this community. I love my Asgardians, and it's freaking it's a freaking blast. Like seriously, I love being able to drive, pick stuff up, and then mail it out when I get back. But also, I get to check out a Best Buy location an hour away from me and let you guys know: Are there any steel books left? Are the Blu-rays selling? I mean, literally the store opened about 20 minutes ago, so I'll be able to see, are people actually going out early to buy it, even all the way out, out, you know, an hour outside of the city of New Orleans? And I'll be able to get back to you guys about that. And what I want you guys to do is go to your own local Best Buy, go to your own local Walmart, Target, Best Buy if you want to check Steelbooks, because they're the only place that has them, at least uh, in store, and just take some pictures, send them my way, maybe film if you have a channel, film and see how well they're doing. Are there any steelbooks there? If there's no steelbooks there, it means that they've sold out. It means that before the movie was even released on a DVD, they sold out of all the 4K steelbooks. And that's honestly what I think is going to be the story in a lot of these cases. I am interested, and I will let you guys know, especially when I check my local stores, since they're the ones that have, uh, have been sold out of the movie for a long time. I'll let you guys know if they have actually put extra copies in the store. Because as I mentioned previously in other videos, I think that there could be a chance that they're holding on to some copies because they want to have them available in store. I will let you guys know if they do, so that way you can try and check with your own local Best Buy to see if they have them available. Because again, if we love this movie, if we love this franchise, and if we want it to continue, we gotta go out and support it. And as always, of course, I will be checking in to see how our poor little deer, Captain Marvel's doing, because in store, she's really not doing all that well. And I cannot wait until September or so when all of the official numbers come out for Captain Marvel and Alita to be able to compare how many units were sold and how much the overall gross was. But anyway, I'll update you guys in a little bit as I continue to drive on this bridge, which luckily is a pretty straight shot, which is why I'm able to record without having to worry about too much. And don't worry guys, as you can tell, I have glasses on. I'm keeping my eyes on the road. That's why I love having this little camera here because it follows my face and I don't really have to worry nearly as much about Stein trying to stay in frame or focus because it's all on automatic. But anyway guys, I shall see y'all in a bit to go pick up the Steelbooks. Tina is one of those persons getting this Steelbook, so I'll be mailing that out uh, later today or tomorrow to you, Tina. And there was someone else who I'm, I'm forgetting because it's been a long time since I did the giveaway. Uh, but if you did win those giveaways and you asked for the copy to be shipped to you or to pick it up locally, they are available. So go out, go out, it'll be held for you for five days. So make sure you make some time out to go pick up your copies. If you don't remember your number, check your email because I sent you your confirmation number. But if for any reason you need any help, please let me know and I will gladly help you guys out. All right, I shall see y'all in a little bit. Alita Battle Angel Day, woo, the day is finally here. Yeah! So as you can see, there are still plenty of copies left of the Captain Marvel Steelbook, or rather the uh, 4K Blu-ray, and people have already started to pick apart the Alita Battle Angel 4Ks. And there are actually are two Steelbooks here. And I'm gonna pick these up and do another giveaway since they are actually in store. So in the little corner of the store, look at all these Captain Marvel steelbooks that are still available. These are the only two on the shelf for Alita Battle Angel, and there are still plenty of copies left 
of this steelbook for Captain Marvel. Truly amazing. All right, so as always, guys, I'm never sure if y'all can hear me in there, but as you could see, in a small little corner of the store, they still had a good seven or eight steelbooks completely full in that rack, meaning that they probably still have more in the back, while Alita Battle Angel, which came out today, only two steelbooks on display, and I imagine those might be the only steelbooks that they have in stock, and I'll double check uh, online in a, when I get to the other Best Buy location just to confirm that they might be sold out of that steelbook. But truly, it's amazing to me. It's truly amazing to me that this film has just done so well post-release. The fan base, the Alita Army is so strong, is so passionate, and you can tell because the fact that they have bought all of the Steelbook, the collectibles, and also are still buying the Blu-rays, the 4Ks, and the DVDs, and especially also on digital as well. So as I said, make sure you get your copy. Check your own local Best Buy if you wanna get your own copy of the Alita Steelbook, and also, as I mentioned in store, because there were only two left, I figured, hey, I'll pick up these last two Steelbooks, and I'll be giving away these on the channel. So again, I'll be giving away uh, two copies of Alita Battle Angel, the, the 4K Steelbook Edition on the channel, so please stay tuned for that, and I'm very excited to be continuing to share uh, the beauty of this film with so many people. And also, of course, I need to give a huge shout out to my boy, uh, JJ Jonathan Jarenbeck, who's been so supportive of the giveaways on the channel and has been very generous. And if you yourself want to continue to, to put your own, you know, to, to essentially see where your money goes, because there are a lot of channels out there where you donate through live streams, et cetera, and you don't really know where the money goes, but I've tried to make it as clear as possible that when the money goes and you ask, hey, this is where I want the money to go to, that it's going to go to that location. So if you also want to support other films and you want more giveaways and you want to be shouted out every single time I do a giveaway because your generosity, that's something that I can do for you guys because I honestly love supporting films. I love supporting films like Alita Battle Angel, and I, of course, love supporting just movies in general that don't get enough attention. But it looks like Alita Battle Angel is making massive waves here, and I'm very excited to share it with two more people. So now I'm going to head back home, <laughs> going to drive back over the bridge an hour, and head over to my local Best Buy to pick up my own personal copy of Alita Battle Angel, and then also check out to see if their stock, if they have any in stock in store, if they if they were holding off any copies and if there's any there I might pick those up too if there's only one or two copies to, to give away to give those away too um and also of course to uh, to see just how well the Captain Marvel Steelbook's doing again Captain Marvel has now been out for almost a month and the Steelbooks are still plentiful the Blu-rays and the 4Ks are still plentiful because no one's buying them in store some people can argue oh they're buying them online they're buying them digitally but we don't have any hard numbers for that yet in fact the hard numbers that we do have on the numbers.com show that it is very very underperforming even some of the lower grossing Marvel films as far as total gross is concerned, and that's after the first week. So it's gonna be interesting to see this back and forth go by, but the next time you see me, I will be over at my local Best Buy showing you guys everything that I see, and hopefully maybe being able to pick up a couple more Steelbooks to give away. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So back at my local Best Buy, as you can see, there are still full rows of the Captain Marvel Blu-ray, still plenty of copies of the 4K, and take a look at this, guys. Only four copies of the Blu-ray, three here, and only two of the 4Ks. Um, this one is actually also the uh, 4K, meaning that they've already sold this much. And also, I'm not seeing the Steelbook, meaning that it is completely sold out. So check your own local Best Buy to see if it might be available. They might have them in the back, um, because I checked my mobile app, and it said that they had a few at this location, but they might just be holding on to them because they <laughs> know that's a hot commodity right now. Um, but so far, Elite Battle Angel is selling very well here, uh, compared to Captain Marvel, still has plenty of copies. So a couple of interesting things, first off, still plenty of Blu-rays for Captain Marvel back here, but look at this guys, still have Steelbooks, and it's been out for over a month now. But what's really exciting, not only do you have a lot of 4Ks back here for Alita, there are two Steelbooks at this location. So guys, that means that even though it said it was sold out in many locations, I would go to your local Best Buy today because it looks like they held on to some extras since they knew it was selling well. So check out your little local Best Buy and see if you can pick up your own copy. I've already picked up two extra copies. I don't think I can pick up any more, but it looks like they are indeed available at several stores that they had previously been sold out. So check your own local store. 
All right, guys, so as you can see in there, they do have extra copies now available at Best Buy. So make sure you check bestbuy.com or check the mobile app to see if it's available in the store near you. But these are indeed copies. These are movies that, uh, this is a movie rather, that did not have copies as of just a few days ago. It was sold out for the longest time. But as I was predicting in a lot of my videos, I assumed that they would probably have held, held on to some just to have in store to kind of motivate people to actually go and, and buy at the store and hopefully buy extra things you know, that's the typical, um, you know, buying mentality and capitalist mentality. Uh, it is what it is. But that all being said, there are still copies available. So check your own local store. Again, this store that I that's the closest to me, they did not have copies as of a few days ago. Now they have an extra. They have two copies in store as we speak. I talked about how the store in Covington that I went to only had two copies available in store. I picked those up. Didn't pick these ones up. I want to make sure that they're available if anyone else wants to pick them up. But also, I just don't have the means to be able to buy two more of the steelbooks. But also, there are still now available in more stores and and it's not completely sold out like it was in the past. So check your local Best Buy. You might want to pick it up as fast as you can because as you can guys tell, it is a very, very, very hot commodity right now and I highly recommend it. And also, as you guys can see, notice how Alita Battle Angel is doing exceptionally well to the point where there are just slim pickings left in stores, but then you go to every store and what happens, you have Captain Marvel, which has almost rows full of their 4K Steelbook edition, meaning no one is going to the stores to actually buy it, meaning no one is passionate about the movie. If you compare the Alita army to people who that are actually fans of Captain Marvel, it is night and freaking day. Go support this movie, hashtag Alita army, hashtag Alita. Rosa Salazar told us, go buy those Steelbooks, go buy those Blu-rays, that's exactly what we're doing, and let's get that sequel made because, hey, we're a passionate fan base, and we want more good, non-woke films set in a very beautiful universe with an excellent cast that does not preach but instead works their asses off learns fighting sequences and are just downright awesome people but anyway guys let me know your thoughts about all this have you picked up your copy of Alita Battle Angel on 4k steelbook I recommend it again it's a very beautiful steelbook has a lot of extra features with it but even if you just pick up the DVD or the blu-ray or, or the 4k regular uh, uh, blu-ray or just the digital HD do something to to step up do something to uh, to show some love to Alita and to uh, make it very clear that we are a passionate fan base. We are not just this hate-filled group of people of white supremacists. For some reason, that's been the narrative that they've been trying to spin. But we are instead, or alt-right as the, as the group, as the movement, as they described it. No, instead, we are a passionate fan base that just love a movie and want to see more of it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.